that, that having fallen under the spell of what creates happiness, uh, which is based on arrivals and destinations. Mm -hmm. Like you're going to arrive somewhere and the bands will play, confetti will fall out of the sky, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody will clap, <laughs> and you know, you're, you're set. <laughs> or, um, or there's some acquisition, what I call destinations and acquisitions, that you're going to get something. You're going to get that job, you're going to get that relationship, you're going to get that, that pay raise, you're going to get that new car. Um, and then, then the bands will play, <laughs> and the people will clap, and the confetti will fall out of the sky. Um, and so we're, we live in a culture that, that seduces us into uh, this idea that happiness is associated with arrivals and acquisitions. Um, and so first, the, the other mindset is completely, uh, it doesn't, it's not even in that paradigm of thinking, and that happiness or joy or contentment has to do with awareness um, and connection uh, again going back to that sort of connection to yourself connection to others connection to the, the world the natural world around you um, that gratitude is is the uh, natural response to being present um, that when we get totally present often joy or gratitude finds its way to, to us. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, first there are some tears, maybe first there are some things that need to be dealt with when we get present, um, but eventually gratitude will find its way. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's, it's uh, again, it's this idea that joy or happiness is something you're going to find after you get somewhere or acquire something is, is part of the big lie, part of the big illusion um, that just keeps you looking for more stuff or, or another, uh, you know, another place to arrive or another thing to get. Couldn't I just buy a book for $25 and that talks about all this stuff and I could read the book and, and get it? You could. You could buy a book. You could watch a movie and um, put it. You know, put the book under your pillow. That'd be even quicker. <laughs> um, and so, why would why would one want to take precious time that they need to spend doing more stuff quicker? <laughs> um, and there's a lot of valuable readings out there. Um, I don't want to discount that. That there that sometimes encountering something that you've read, uh, someone's story or uh, watching a film um, that speaks to your heart, that really speaks to something uh, that you're looking for, um, they do help wake up things. But the, uh, but the hero's journey, as Joseph Campbell would talk about, is um, you can, you, can, you can know about its existence by reading about it or watching it on a film. But if you're going to take the journey, uh, that's a different matter. Um, that requires a, a, taking a, a step toward the unknown. 